you know, the, the Fab Four, as I like to call them, Top Rank, Golden Boy, Matchroom, and PBC, you know, they're going to be able to move on at some capacity with doing shows without a crowd, without audiences. They have, you know, different buckets of money that they can pull from. So they could take it out of a TV package. They could take it out of a hedge fund. They could take it out of an online streaming service where us small guys, the ones that are developing that local talent, those good opponents, right, for those big guys, the ones who were developing these journeymen or contenders, we don't have those buckets to pull from. There's no way for me to reimburse myself. So I've lost thousands of dollars on my show that I was supposed to have in March. There's not a bucket that I could pull from, you know, to make up for that. So I like to call us, you know, the real promoters, the, the promoters that actually have to go out there and sell tickets you know, not at a discounted rate. We're not giving out comps. You know, us promoters, we can't do shows without people being in the stands. It's just not a reality for us, you know, because we're not funded by TV. We're not funded by a hedge fund. So we just can't do that. And we're going to, we're getting hurt. We're going to get hurt. You know, we are the live gate promoters. So guys like Bobby Hits in Chicago, me in Philadelphia, Thompson in California, and there's a plethora of other, you know, middle class small promoters. I don't know how we're going to survive this because we depend on ticket sales and sponsorship. Um, and the big guys, you know, they're going to be able to, you know, get through the next few months with just doing in studio shows. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that at my level. You know. I know you got a plan. I mean, you're a very successful and strong woman. I I know you got a plan B. Will it be reinventing yourself? Will it be maybe assisting those big shows? Michelle, someone like you, they broke the mold because you didn't accept the word no when a lot of people said no, it cannot be done. But yet you're facing your your toughest challenge, and I know you're going to be able to accomplish what you you need to. And the facts are the facts. Yes, it's going to be very tough. It's tough all over the world. And I'm glad that we're able to give you a platform where you can be heard because something needs to be done for people.